How you doing? Eric here from Chaparral Motorsports, and today we're going to walk you through a Hammerhead Designs shift and rear brake lever install. Now for the most part, the stock rear brake and shift levers on your dirt bike work perfectly fine, but there are a couple reasons why you may want to swap them out for some aftermarket levers. For one, they're made to fit the average rider, which can lead to a less than optimal fit or usability for riders with larger or smaller feet. The stock levers are also made out of cast aluminum and after one or two hard drops or a crash can bend or worse break and need to be replaced. Lastly, sometimes you just want to dress up your bike and add some customization to it and these levers can do just that. They can make your bike stand out in the pits. Today we're going to take a look at these Hammerhead Designs rear brake and shift levers. Here we have Hammerhead Designs billet aluminum rear brake pedal. The pedal has been carefully CNC machined out of 6061 T6 aluminum and then black anodized for a durable finish. At the end of the lever, you'll notice it has three mounting holes to allow you for different mounting positions for the tip. The brake lever also has a brake stop integrated into it to help prevent counter rotation and master cylinder damage. Now the clevis that comes with the kit has also been precision machined and then color anodized to match your bike. Also included is a brake snake to help prevent damage to the lever in a crash. Now if you're going to install the Hammerhead Designs rear brake lever, you might as well pick up their Pro Rear Brake Spring Return Kit as well. This kit eliminates the stock return spring and replaces it with this stiffer spring. And then when you add in this adjustable cap, the combination allows for a quicker brake return and it also allows you to adjust the brake feel for your riding style. Now just like the brake lever, the shift lever is CNC machined and then black anodized as well. Hammerhead offers their tips in either a knurled finish or with a rubber sleeve like we see here. Now the rubber sleeve seems to work a little bit better, provides more grip, especially in muddier conditions, and lasts longer because you can get replacement sleeves such as this. Now the great thing about Hammerhead Design's tips are that they offer a wide variety of offsets to fit various boots and riding preferences. Now this means anyone wearing boots from size 7 to 14 can get the perfect fit on the shift lever for better ergonomics, which will deliver quicker, easier shifting, and less missed shifts. Hammerhead Designs offers these billet shift and rear brake levers to fit a variety of makes and models and all the tips are color anodized to match factory colors. Okay, now let's head outside and I'll show you how easy it is to install these levers. We're going to start the install on the brake side. Before you get started, you might want to mark the stock position of your brake lever so that when you install the new lever you have a reference point to start your um, adjustments from. You can use a piece of tape like we have here or a permanent marker will work as well. You can start by removing the cotter pin that's back on the back side of the clevis here. Just loosen it. You can pull the cotter pin out, and then you can push the clevis pin and pull that out. Next, you can use your T-handle and remove the brake bolt. There's a washer behind the brake lever, so make sure you don't lose that. Next, we can loosen the nut on the clevis, remove the clevis, as well as the adjustment nut. Next, you're going to slide the hammerhead spring, slide it over the boot and the plunger rod, just like that. Next, you can thread the adjustment cap onto the plunger rod. You want to go about halfway up, compress the spring. That would give yourself some movement. If it starts spinning, you can throw a wrench on the nut up there. You can thread the clevis onto the plunger rod next. Get a good ways up, give you some room, get lined up so you can get the brake lever in there. Like we said earlier, you're not gonna be using the stock return spring because we got the hammerhead spring in here. You're gonna use your stock brake bolt. If it's dirty, make sure you clean it up, add some grease to it. You're gonna slide the lever through the clevis, make sure your washer is on the back side, get it lined up with the hole, and then you can start threading the bolt in. We don't want to tighten anything up too much right now because what we want to do is put the pin in so that we can check the position of the lever against our mark on the case. As we can see, we're way above our mark. It's way down here. So we need to adjust the clevis up and it'll pull the lever down. So now that we've got the pedal in our stock adjustment, we can go ahead and tighten down the brake bolt, get the clevis pin locked in position with the pin and, the, and make sure you put the washer in back behind it. And then we can put our brake tip on. Now the brake tip comes with its own bolts. As you can see, there's three holes in the brake tip and three holes in the lever, so it provides plenty of room for adjustment. Before you thread these in, once you figure out where you want it adjusted, you want to make sure you put some thread lock on the bolts to keep it in place. Once you figure out where you want the tip to set, go ahead and tighten it down 
with an Allen or your key handle. With the lever installed, you can now adjust the play. Threading the cap up will reduce the amount of play you have in the lever, while threading it down will give you more play. You want to be sure if you thread it all the way down against the clevis, there's no play in the spring between the master cylinder and the cap. Just like on the brake lever, we have a piece of tape as a reference point before we start. We throw a wrench on the shift lever bolt. Can we remove the bolt? And then we can remove the stock lever. Next, take the new hammerhead lever, get it lined up with the splines and get it lined up with your mark. You can slide it on the shift shaft, just like that. Before you tighten it down, you want to check to make sure the lever is in the right position and the tip are in the right position for you. Here we have a set of Alpine Stars Tech 8s. This is a zero offset tip, and as you can see, the placement's pretty good for this. It catches right under the toe where you want to get in the shift zone. If we take a pair of 14s of the same boot, you can see there's way overshot. You got to dip way down to get under there, so you might want to raise the shift there a little bit and add an extension like a plus 20. You're going to want to refer to the hammerhead design size chart to determine which size offset you want. Like I said, this is a zero offset, so this was ideal for that size 8 we had. If you have a larger boot like that size 14, you'll want something like this plus 20 offset, which will kick the tip out quite a bit. Now, the reason why you didn't want to tighten the lever is because if you do have to switch the tip out, there's a snap ring underneath, and it's much easier to get to off the bike. Once you have the lever aligned and the correct tip that you need, make sure that the lever is flush against the shift shaft, and then you can tighten the bolt down. So as you can tell, that was a pretty easy installation and should make for a much more fun and comfortable ride. If you're looking for something other than the Hammerhead Designs shift and rear brake levers, don't worry. We have plenty of other OEM and aftermarket parts to choose from at Chaparral Motorsports. And remember, we have three ways for you to shop. You can call and speak to our knowledgeable sales staff. You can click your way through a great shopping experience at shopmoto.com, or you can come visit us at our 160,000 square foot motorsports superstore. As always, thank you for watching and enjoy your ride.